G'day guys, this is your bubbly host, H2O Queen. I hope my June June family and viewers are well. You go ahead and click on my link in the description below for my Twitch schedule times. I do stream every Monday, Friday and Sunday. I have a pretty positive and chill community and I look forward to seeing you guys there. Uh, so recently some news has dropped that there are 10 new figures that have released into Pokemon Jewel all the way from Poliwhirl, not Poliwhirl, sorry, what was it? Corefish, all the way up until Poliwhirl. So I'm going to switch over screens and I'm going to show you guys what has dropped and then we can enjoy, um, instead of reminiscing, on the figures that we once used to have. Alright guys, starting off with Corefish. Now I apologise if I look down, um, this is uh, a not something that's implemented into uh, the current Pokemon Jewel. This is from my old Pokemon Jewel app. Um, so yeah, you guys can't go into your library and actually see this data. It is not currently implemented. Um, so Corefish uh, isn't that great as you guys probably would have suspected. Um, it is a UC figure. Um, it doesn't have that much going for it. But hey, it's another figure added to our collection. Um, moving forward, we have Jigglypuff, it's really good to see some new fairies into our team. Honestly, I don't mind this figure, even though Hyper Voice is going to be very slim picking to get. It is only 12% of the wheel, but really, really awesome attack damage for a rare. Double Slap is pretty good too. Um, I believe it does additional 20 plus damage, which is correct. And then Lullaby is a nice little touch as well. Um, it's almost uh, half of the wheel size. So it's not too much of a bad figure, um, but definitely not um, stable enough if you want something that's reliable. Um, then we are moving onwards to Cyndaquil. Uh, it is good with its ability. Um, this Pokemon's Ember gains plus 20 damage for each Pokemon in your PC. So it's a nice little touch because then it can do up to uh, maximum 70 or up to 60 attack damage which is pretty good but that 25 24 percent miss slice is almost a quarter of its wheel so it kind of lets itself down now the what I am excited for the most is Xerneas um, because of that fairy um, ability so when uh, placed adjacent to this Pokemon your Pokemon will be boosted from 0 to 1 MP or uh, from 0 to 1 MP to 2 MP and your opponent's Pokemon will be reduced from 3 MP to 2 MP. And what I also like about that is the Geomancy. Um, so a spin again until attack other than Geomancy is spun and then to a damage attack deals plus 50 damage. So that means that your Moonblast will be dealing 149 damage and really it's such a good figure to have in uh, round decks as well as just in a general fairy team. So this is a really nice figure to see. I guess it's just like um, having a Tapu Fini to uh, most water trainers teams. So it's really nice to see Xerneas here. And then we've got Yivatel. Uh, Yivatel is a dark flying type. Um, what's really good about it is it's draining wind. One Pokemon within three steps range is drawn one to two steps closer. So this Pokemon is giving a uh, an MP minus one marker, which is can be really good, especially if you've got a huge rush team to deal with. Then you've got Dark Mist. While this Pokemon's on the field, your Dark type Pokemon receive a plus ten boost to attack damage. And then, of course, you've got its ability. While this Pokemon's on the field, opposing Ghost type Pokemon cannot use the effect of an ability to pass through your Dark type Pokemon. Although it's not going to prove crucial right now, um, later on as more figures get released, it will be. And then we've got Liopard, another dark type figure. Um, it's not too bad. Um, however, the only thing that's really good for it is Assist. Now, we have seen a lot of videos in the past about how Assist works. So, around a Pokemon on your bench other than Liopard spins, the attack that is spun takes the place of this of attack. So, in case you, you are wondering, so if you have a, a figure left on your bench, in this case, we used to have a lot of Ultra Beasts that were left on the bench for this Pokemon and it used to take the actual um, attack of the bench Pokemon and there was some situation that this Wi-Fi could get into which was really impressive. Um, yeah, so make sure you go and have a look around on Lipart and its assist ability because there's some pretty cool videos out there. 
and then we are moving on to by barrel and we have um, cut rock smash and surf this uh, Pokemon is quite a mess uh, with all of its attack being everywhere however um, and it's also got strength as well for um, 90 attack damage but all in all it's a good figure and it's definitely something that is going to be good especially using Ruby but I don't know if I recommend it for Whitehall. Now by far uh, Chestnut is one of the most abysmal figures out there um, only dealing 100 damage for an EX. I mean seriously EXs can be dealing up to 160 damage minimum so this figure is so desperate for a buff but unfortunately Haraz never buffed it before the game was finalized um, and all Hammer Arm does is just this Pokemon gains weight and um, the only thing that really goes for it is Spiky Shield. Uh, the battle pen is knocked two steps back and gains weight. So I mean Chestnut's good but it's definitely not amazing. Now um, we've got Poliwhirl. So it's got spinning pattern. Your opponent's spins are shifted by two segments in a clockwise um, direction. This figure was meta um, back in the days. Uh, when there used to be two sections of mist on either directly opposite of each other and then it used to opt in and not spin into the mist. Um, the thing that goes with you for this figure is its hypnosis although it's not something I'd recommend running for white hole but definitely something that could work well in ruby hole if your team is randomized. Um, but yeah so that really much was our last figure was uh, Poliwhirl. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and please smash the subscribe bell. All your support is much appreciated and I hope you guys are looking forward to these 10 figures. If I happen to get any of my figures messed up, I apologize. I wasn't there at the time it got announced. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. I'm looking forward uh, to seeing what happens moving forward. Fingers crossed that this badge doesn't prove to have any conflict issues. I think we should be good. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you guys in Ruby Hall. I will be streaming again um, this Sunday. Um, I really struggled to be able to do an additional stream, but I'm going to try. Um, just for my own personal being, I find it a little bit difficult to um, stream during the week. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will create another video soon. This is your bubbly host, H2O Queen over and out. Peace, love, light, enjoy. Enjoy the day. Take care guys and thank you so much.